What we're going to learn in this tutorial is how to design the sprite characters for a simple game of Pac-Man. Uh, so this will review hopefully a lot of the things that you already know how to do in uh, Flash but give you a good application of them. So it's going to be fairly crucial in this to use the grid. Uh, so if you go to view grid, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll show it first. And the default uh, is this really tightly knit um, a lattice of grid work here. And we want to expand this a little bit. So uh, we'll go to view grid. We want to edit. And right here, the 10 pixels by 10 pixels is not enough. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to 50 by 50. Uh, the gray is totally fine, so you can leave it as that. Uh, but if you wanted to change the color, you could do that from here. So we'll click on OK. Uh, so what we'll do is first uh, create the characters. Uh, so uh, what you're going to do is we're going to go to Insert, pick New Symbol. And this will be the very first one that we're going to create. So you're going to call this Pac-Man. Uh, and we're going to leave this as a movie clip symbol because it'll be a, a repeating animation. Uh, so we'll click on OK. So inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, Pac-Man in a four square area. So uh, what you need to do is go to the shapes and click and hold the button. And for this, because we want to uh, be able to edit the shape after we've drawn it, you're going to use the oval primitive tool. Okay, set the interior color to yellow and the exterior color to black. Okay, uh, now go to the center of the movie clip. So you've got this little crosshairs thing here. And what you're going to do is uh, we're going to draw a circle outwards from the middle point. In order to do that, you hold Option and Shift on the keyboard and then click and drag. So you want to draw that to a distance so that the edges uh, of that circle touch the uh, grid around it. So then after you've got that created, uh, this should be the first frame of the animation where Pac-Man is a full circle. Uh, on frame two, you're going to insert a keyframe. And then here we're going to open the mouth a little bit. For frame three, we're going to right click, insert keyframe. And then this one will have the same image with a wider mouth opening. And then on frame four, uh, we want to have the mouth slightly closed. So in order to do that, the easiest way is if you click on frame two, and we're going to copy that frame to the end. So if you hold option on the keyboard, you can click and drag and then move it to the end. So we get Pac-Man is this four frame animation of the opening and closing mouth. So if you go back to scene one, click on scene one, and then you can open up your library and you should have Pac-Man here. So we can click on that. Uh, and we're going to put that into onto the stage just as a bit of a trial. Uh, now, what we're going to do is just a simple animation of Pac-Man going from the left hand of the screen to the right. Uh, so you can do that by creating a motion tween. And then we'll have this end at frame 60. So we'll insert a keyframe and we'll leave that as all. And then move the playhead to frame 60. And then you can move Pac-Man to the right hand side of the stage. Um, now, just to uh, see how that works, what we have you do is, if you go to File, Save As, uh, save this where you're going to uh, do, your, uh, do your work here. So I'm just going to put mine on the desk, desktop in order to uh, keep things easy to find for these tutorials. Uh, so I will call this Pac-Man. Save. And then you'll see it'll generate the little pacman.fla. And then I'm going to test the movie. Go to Control, 
test movie, and go down to test. Command return is the shortcut. And we should get this repeating animation. Now, uh, you might find that the default 24 frames per second is a little bit on the fast side for this project. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to close this. And then we're going to uh, use the black pointer. Click anywhere on the stage to deselect everything. Click on properties. And we're going to change the frames per second rate down to 16. So I'll actually click in here, and now if I test the movie again, it's uh, at a much more manageable uh, mouth opening and closing pace. Uh, so I'll close that. And now we can start working on the ghosts. So we'll go to Insert, New Symbol. Uh, and this is going to be a movie clip now. The uh, the ghosts in Pac-Man have names, but in order to keep it uh, easy to uh, find which one's which, uh, we're just going to call the first one red. So you can click on OK. And I'm going to zoom in here because we're, we'll be drawing this with the pen tool. And uh, it's important to find the center point again, which appears to have become lost. Uh, so the other way we can do this, uh, there it is, is you can use the magnifying glass and draw a square around the uh, middle squares uh, and that works just fine. So we're going to use the pen tool for this um, in the stroke color, uh, keep it as black. And this is going to be the outline for the ghost. So uh, leave the size as one. All of the default settings, if you've got those set, uh, should be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to click at the bottom left hand corner and we're just going to do a, a zigzag here. Uh, it should be at a peak in the middle. And that is the bottom part. Now to get the curve around the top what you're going to do is uh, click and drag with the pen tool. So don't click and let go, but you're going to click and hold the button down and drag this out uh, so that the handles give you a nice curve that you're happy about. I don't want this to cross the vertical line on the right. I want to keep this uh, 100 by 100 pixels. So I'm going to let go and then click at the original point and it will know which uh, what the uh, slope should be for that. So we're going to fill this in. So you're going to use the paint bucket tool, use the fill color of red, and then you can fill the interior. So now if you click on the second frame, we're going to put a blank keyframe here, and we're going to draw the second frame of the ghost. In order to do that, uh, check the onion skin button so that we can see the original. Go back to the pen tool and wherever there is a peak uh, we're going to put a valley and wherever there's a valley we're going to put a peak. So we'll start way up here on the side uh, and then I'll go down, up, down, up, down, up and the same slope idea at the top. Try and get it to match the line of the uh, ghostly onion skinned image that we get. Get as close as you can. Now click on the first frame to fill that in and then we will use the bucket to make sure that that is red as well. So we get this as a two frame animation uh, with the bottom sort of flipping back and forth uh, between these two frames. Um, now what we want to do is we want to put the eyes on here. Uh, so if you double click on layer one, you can call this uh, ghost for layer two. We'll call this eyes. Okay. And these will be the eyes for when the ghost is facing. Uh, they, they only go in uh, three directions, uh, up, down, left, and left and right are identical. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll do the eye motion 
for this looking to the right. So I should have a black exterior, white interior, and they're simply slightly um, oval. They're not quite perfect circles. So we're going to need to move those to the side so you can copy and paste. This will do a pretty good job of telling you when they're lined up. So something like this, you can use the arrow keys to finesse that a little bit. And then uh, we're also going to need to deselect that so that we can put the pupils on the eyes. Those have a blue interior and no stroke. So we'll put this here. There we go. And you want to keep that sort of comically large. So we'll copy, paste, and we want to match that about on the other eye. So this will be the ghost looking sideways. Uh, so the eyes don't move and we put those on a separate layer for a reason. Uh, so go ahead and just save your work and then we'll create the other ghosts looking to the left. So if you go to the library you'll see that you have Pac-Man and then you also have Red which is a two frame animation. So we're going to make uh, copies or duplicates of this ghost animation. So right click duplicate and we don't want this as red copy. This one will be pink. Uh, we'll duplicate it again and pick cyan and we'll duplicate it again and pick orange as the color. So now what we do is uh, for pink we can double click on the edit window up here and then uh, all we have to do is use the paint bucket, select a pink color, so I like these kind of light ones, and you need to, I'll turn the onion skins off to make it easier to see, we need to fill this on the first frame and the second frame uh, so that it will be pink on both frames. Uh, you can go to orange and do the same. Select the orange color, uh, like this one. And we want to make sure that it's orange on both frames. And then you can go to cyan. Uh, the cyan here is specifically this uh, one on the left hand side. So we can do that on the first frame and the second frame. So now if you go back to scene one, we'll just do a little test animation. Um, we'll put in four new layers. And on layer two, I'm going to put the red ghost uh, at the top right. Um, and then I'm going to do a motion tween. And then on frame 60, I want it to be on the bottom left. Then I'll pick the pink ghost um, and do this on layer 3. Pink ghost will go at the bottom uh, right. I'm going to make a motion tween and then on frame 60 we'll have this at the top left. Layer 4 we'll have the orange ghost start at the bottom left. Now what we should really do is flip it horizontally, so go modify, um, transform, flip horizontal so it's facing the other direction. I'm going to uh, put a motion tween here, frame 60, move it to the top right, on layer 5 I'll put the final ghost, the top left, Modify, transform, flip horizontal, um, and then make a motion tween, go to frame 60, 
and move it to the bottom right. So if I hit return just to so, to see what's going on, uh, it's not all that interesting because uh, they've all been created as movie clips because we want these to be repeating animations. So I'm going to go to the control menu and click on test movie. We'll go to test and then we'll get everything moving as it will be in our animation. Uh, if you want to go one step further, you can feel free to uh, play around with this and then uh, adjust the motion path so they get kind of a little curve here. And you can even do that with Pac-Man. So this is what you should have. Uh, you can just save this, test the movie, and then we'll get this little animation of curved ghosts and Pac-Man uh, running around. So make sure that you have this completed, save it, and then you can move on to the next tutorial.